In today's video, we are going to talk about interesting facts and myths surrounding the Abyssinian cat. Among the most popular cat breeds, the Abyssinian is easy to care for, and a joy to have in your home. They're affectionate cats and love both people and other animals. The Abyssinian is a medium-sized cat with a long body and nicely developed muscles. She is an active cat that loves to jump and play. The Abyssinian is moderate looking in all aspects with smooth planes on her head. She has a gentle dip in the triangular head. Her rather large ears sit tilted forward on her head giving her an alert, aware look about her as if she is always paying attention to everything that is going on around her. Her eyes, which look large on her face, show the alertness and intelligence inherent in the breed. The coat on the Abyssinian is short and has tufts of hair in her ears. The coloring of the Abyssinian is very special. The majority of the fur has bands of color on each individual hair with the coat looking darker along the spine line. The color on her body softens and lightens under the neck, and the underside of the cat, and the insides of her legs. Here are some interesting facts about Abyssinian cats that will amaze you and that will make you admire them even more. 1. Abyssinian Cat's Personality While an active cat, the Abyssinian is an easy cat to have in your home. They love people and other animals. They will play with their own toys for hours but also enjoy a good period of time of interactive play with their parents. They will talk to you in a soft, quiet voice. The Abyssinian is loving and affectionate and loves to spend time with her parent. While the Abyssinian coat is easy to care for, the Abyssinian likes being combed or rubbed with a chamois cloth. 2. The Abyssinian is not actually from Abyssinia. Contrary to its name, the Abyssinian cat isn't actually from Abyssinia, which is a historical name for Ethiopia. The name stems from the popular belief that British soldiers who fought in the Abyssinian War returned to England in the late 1860s with cats purchased from local traders. In fact, modern-day genetic research suggests that the cat may have gotten its unique coat pattern from felines who lived in coastal areas of northeastern India, or parts of Southeast Asia. The breed itself is likely a fusion of tabby British shorthairs and a mysterious imported breed. Another fanciful origin story is that the Abyssinian is descended from ancient Egyptian cats. This is likely due to their long necks, big ears, and almond eyes, which make them resemble paintings and sculptures of the revered animals. 3. The Abyssinian appeared in early cat shows, breed books, and museums. No one quite knows when Abyssinian cats first arrived in Europe. However, an abai made a splash at what's often considered the world's second major cat show, held at London's famed Crystal Palace venue in 1871. Harper's Magazine wrote that the feline was thought to have been captured in the late Abyssinian War. While that might not have been true, the exotic-looking Abyssinian still won third place. Abyssinians were also mentioned in one of the earliest English cat breed catalogs, Cats, Their Points, and Characteristics by W. Gordon Stables. The section included a colored lithographic of a cat named Zulu, who was described as belonging to a Mrs. Captain Barrett Leonard. Sure enough, the myth that the cat hailed from North Africa persisted, this cat was brought from Abyssinia at the conclusion of the war. Meanwhile, the Leiden Zoological Museum in Holland also acquired a stuffed Abyssinian cat purchased around 1834-1836. The cat is labeled Patri, Domestica India, suggesting that the cat indeed hails from the Far East instead of Africa. The taxidermied feline remains in the Leiden's possession today. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 4. Abyssinians have tick coats. Aside from its almond-shaped eyes, pointed face, and slender, athletic body, an Abyssinian is instantly recognizable by its short, tick coat. Thanks to a genetic variant of the tabby pattern, each hair is banded with alternating light and dark shades, ranging from lighter at the base to darker at the tips. Abais are born with dark coats, which gradually lighten after a few months. Color-wise, the most widely recognized hue for Abyssinians is a ruddy brown. However, abais come in several other shades, including the Cat Fanciers Association recognized fawn, red, and blue, and the International Cat Association acknowledged chocolate and lilac. 5. An Abyssinian's DNA was decoded. In 2007, scientists used DNA taken from a four-year-old Abyssinian cat named Cinnamon to sequence the first rough draft genome for the domestic cat. Their goal was to find out more about the 250 diseases that affect both felines and humans. So far, the draft genome has helped researchers discover several cat disease genes and learn more about the species' domestication. 6. An Abyssinian starred in a movie. Long before ALF creator Paul Fusco produced Space Cats, 
the short-lived 1990s TV show about alien felines. Walt Disney Productions released a film called The Cat from Outer Space. The 1978 movie, stars an extraterrestrial Abyssinian named Jake whose spaceship crash lands on Earth. 7. Abyssinians love to jump, climb, and play. Looking for a cat that's more of a live wire than a couch potato. The Abyssinian is the pet for you. The feline has a predilection for swinging from curtains and jumping onto high surfaces. Don't have the time or energy to engage an Abyssinian. Consider a more docile cat, like the Persian, which is so placid and sedentary it's been nicknamed furniture with fur. 8. Australia's first pedigreed cat is part Abyssinian. In the 1970s, an Australian woman named Dr. Truda Strait decided to breed a new feline that possessed attributes of all her favorite cat types. Over the course of nine years, Strait crossed an Abyssinian, a Burmese, and Australian domestic shorthair cats to create a custom breed dubbed the Australian Mist. The Mist was the first pedigreed cat to be developed down under. It boasts the muted coloring and relaxed personality of a Burmese, the liveliness and tick coat of an Abyssinian, and the marbled stripes and strong immune system of a mutt. 9. Living with Abyssinian Cat Abyssinians are active cats and generally will keep their weight under control with compensating exercise. They should have some high perches and cat trees available to them so they can jump and climb. Abyssinians are social cats and like to have some company. This company can be provided by having another cat or pet around when human companions are not at home. 10. Abyssinian cats are companion you will never forget. They say that dogs are humanity's best friend, but whoever said that never had an Abyssinian cat. These amazing felines defy the negative stereotypes of cats with their irrepressible personalities and energy. They make cat ownership delightful and new every day. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.